Okay, so I've been having this problem with Weasel um, getting in my chicken coop. He killed uh, four chickens in three days and severely injured one. Uh, the one injured one is still alive, it's still going, so that's good. But regardless, uh, I'm done with the Weasel. The Weasel Wars have began. But um, I've been checking out on the internet these uh, weasel boxes, how to catch weasels and whatnot. I made a couple of them, um, like the ones you see on the internet. They're only like 6 or 7 inches wide, 12 inches long. They got a rat trap in them, which is all well and good, and I'm sure they probably work. I have not caught a weasel in them yet, uh, but the mice keep setting off the trap, and it's very hard to stick your hand in the, those traps to place that rat trap which I had to try it six seven times before I could get the trap in the box without it going off on me so last night I decided to build me uh, what I would like to think a bigger better weasel box um, I also would like to say it's uh, chicken proof you can probably put it right out in your chicken pen, in the chicken yard, or in the chicken coop if need be. Uh, the chickens won't be able to stick their head in the hole and, you know, get decapitated by that rat trap. Um, I introduced uh, a couple of smaller holes for mice, so with any luck, um, you know, mice will be able to go in there and not set off the big trap. So, but let's take a look at it. As you can see... It's got your, uh, try to get this so you can kind of see here. It's got the latch on it for the lid. Go ahead and open this up. Um, let me put these things back in place here real quick. Nothing's set, of course. But, um, it's got your your standard two inch hole for the weasel to go in and step on the trap. Um, I put this around it. Um, this is so like a chicken can't just reach right in there in that hole and get his head whacked by that rat trap. So I'm thinking that should work when that lid is closed I don't, I don't think a chicken's going to be able to stick their head up in that hole. The weasel can still get up there. Um, but I don't think a chicken will be able to stick his head up in that hole. I don't think a dog will be able to, you know, stick his nose in there and lick around and get a rat trap on his tongue. Um, I'd like to think it's chicken proof, dog proof. Probably not cat proof. Um, a cat might be able to stick his paw up in there, but... What are you going to do? So anyways, there's two little holes right here in the corner. I'm thinking mice might use those holes instead of the big hole. They go in, and then they got a little uh, a channel, a little hallway right here on both sides that they can go down. I got a couple of mice, mouse traps back here because they do have mouse issues out in the chicken coop. There's a, a little uh, pan, a box back here. I can stuff it full of my meat or anisoil for uh, the uh, bait for the weasel. Um, or spread some seed in here. Set these traps, put some chicken scratch, bird seed, whatever in here. Get the mice to come in. Because from what I understand, uh, weasels love to eat mice. Uh, it's probably one of their main food sources, I believe. Um, as you can see, I got a vent hole here in the back that'll allow the smell to go around, and uh, the weasel hopefully will smell it and come check it out. Climb in the little hole, get his little head crushed, which would just make me happy. Now, this here is uh, like rabbit fencing. I'm thinking a mouse can't get in there. It might, I don't know. I'm trying to avoid the mice from going in and setting off my rat trap. Um, so this here, you know, when I want to set my rat trap now, 
I can, you know, set it, and I got lots of room in here to, to set it and slide it into place, like so. I can get in there. I got lots of room to move without setting a trap off, hopefully. I haven't tried this yet. And then I got my mouse traps, and I can put this rabbit fencing right back in there. When that lid closes, it closes tight on the top. So, like I said, hopefully mouse mice won't be able to get in there. So, but that's it. Um, it's what I like to call my, uh, I don't know what I want to call it. <laughs> it's uh, a weasel trap, mouse trap, chicken proof, dog proof. Um, I'll be able to keep it right out in my uh, chicken yard out in the penned in area. And hopefully, you know, I can take care of some mice, hopefully attract a, a weasel into it, and with any luck, uh, stop getting dead chickens. So anyways, there it is. Uh, like I said, I haven't tested it yet. It's going to get set up and put out tonight. I'm going to spray it down with some uh, uh, scent remover to eliminate uh, my human scent off of it. I'll put my bait in it, some anise oil, set her out, and with any luck, get me a weasel. Um, I haven't caught one yet in the uh, traditional weasel boxes, which are literally half this size. You know, they're only six or seven inches wide, and to try to stick that rat trap in them is almost impossible for me. But anyways, there we go. Uh, I'll see if it works, and I'll post another one. Talk to you later. Oh, and uh, also I put a convenient handle on the lid. When everything is locked down, I can pick it up and carry it around wherever I want without whatever. I can move it. I'm thinking it'll work. I hope so. Wish me luck. I'm tired of dead chickens.